Hello everyone, you are the latest market news on April the 14th, 2020. 10 U.S. states contemplate economic reopening. 10 U.S. governors from the East and West states banded in two regional packs to coordinate gradual economic reopenings as the coronavirus crisis finally appeared to be picked. Announcements from the New York-led group of Northeastern governors and similar compact formed by California, Oregon and Washington state came as President Donald Trump declared any decision on restoring the U.S. economy was up to him. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said he was teaming up with five counterparts in adjacent New Jersey Connecticut, Delaware, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island to devise the best strategies for easing stay-at-home orders imposed last month to limit coronavirus spread. The 10 governors gave no timeline for ending social lockdowns but stressed that decisions about when and how to reopen non-essential business along with schools and universities would put the health of residents first and rely on science rather than politics. Shares rise amid strong data from China. The slump in China's exports and imports eased in March as factories resumed production, but economists forecasted a drop in shipments over coming month as the coronavirus crisis shuts down many economies and puts the brakes on a near-term recovery. Financial markets get some support after customs data on Tuesday show that exports fell 6.6 percent in March year-on-year, -year, improving from a 17.2 percent slide in January-February as exporters rushed to clear a backlog of orders after forced production shutdowns. Imports is the modest 0.9 percent compared with expectations for a 9.5 percent drop. Chinese shares strengthened with the blue chip index rose 1.2 percent, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng climbed 0.9 percent. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares, excluding Japan, surged 1.3 percent to the highest in a month, while Japan's Nikkei soared 2.8 percent. European stock markets were also headed for a strong start, with FTSE futures adding 1.5 percent, German DAX futures gaining 1.7 percent, and Eurostox 50 futures rising 1.4 percent. The U.S. stock futures increased 1.3 percent. Renault pulls out from venture with Dongfang. Renault SA said on Tuesday it is pulling out of a loss-making business with Dolphin Motor Group due to low sales, becoming only the second global automaker to exit a major venture in China in recent years. Although Renault will retain a presence in China with other ventures, the partnership with Dolphin was its main passenger car business in the world's biggest vehicle market. The company said the venture sold only 18,607 cars in 2019, far below its annual capacity of 110,000 and reported an operating loss of more than 1.5 billion yen, $212 million. Dalfan, which will gain Renault's 50 percent stake in their venture plans to rewomp and upgrade the venture's existing car plants, a spokeswoman for the Chinese automaker said. Chinese company will arrange positions for the staff and the venture within its wider group operations, she added. Gold is on seven years peak amid global recession. Gold continued its rise to hit the highest level in more than seven years on concern that the coronavirus pandemic will have a devastating effect on the global economy's supercharging demand for safe havens. Bullion has soared as the outbreak tipped economies into recession and spurred central banks to launch huge stimulus. Since getting caught up in a wave of forced selling last month as equities sank, gold has staged a powerful recovery. Now the gold futures are closing $1,800 and once after trading in the $1,400 less than four weeks ago. Futures climbed as much as 1.3 percent to $1,785 and once on the COMEX, the highest since October 2012, and traded at $1,768.70 in London. Spot gold was almost $60 cheaper at $1,712.63 and once with the huge spread of feature of trading in recent weeks amid physical market disruptions. Risk sentiment is turning toward the cautious side, and investors are fleeting into the perceived safety they've had an in view of the virus situation and massive money printing activities, said Margaret Young, an analyst at CMC Market Singapore PTE.